Hey everybody, my name is Matt, and this is the two-year review of the Bedrock Cairn Adventure Sounder. These sandals are amazing. They're really tough, they fit really well, they're great for daily use, trips to the beach, trips to the pond, trip swimming, anywhere you're gonna get wet. They're amazing, they're really thick, so if you wanna go on a quick hike, they stick to your foot very well. So if you're interested in something a little bit different, not so thick as a Chaco, but definitely tougher than something you're gonna pick up at your general retail store, then the Bedrock Sandals is for you. I hope that was enough information for the first part of the video. And if you gotta go, please subscribe and like the video, share. And if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna get in depth on how it feels, how they have uh, worn, and how excited I am for the new version that is out. Like most people, I've been home a lot lately, and through the summer, definitely, I'm wearing these sandals, this one pair of bedrocks, every single day. I can do almost anything in them as far as shopping, running around town, I can even pull them off with the right pair of shorts and maybe like a polo shirt or button-up shirt. Where I live, it's really casual. It's a, it's a college town. So you can get to just in almost any place and, and feel really comfortable and like you're not underdressed if you're wearing sandals. And as long as your feet are clean and clipped and all that stuff, you know, um, no one's going to care. And so, I, so it's great. It's, it's great to be able to just run around outside and then wash off, let them dry, and then they're good to go for something else. As a dad with three three little ones at home, they are great because it doesn't matter if they get wet or they get dirty. I don't feel like I'm going, I'm going to ruin them. And I've definitely put the fabric to the test. I don't know what it is about the fabric or whether or not it's so tightly wound together. I don't know how they do it. It has not held any mud stains or become too dingy. I think if I really washed them with like a toothbrush, they would look great again. But I don't, I don't, I, you know, that doesn't bother me. And of course, doing chores around the house, they're, they're great. Near the center of the sole. And again, two years every day, every day. Even if I am going to work and I have to dress up and wear a different pair of shoes, I come home and I put these on to do everything else. I'm pretty confident this material will fell first but it's it's really soft so that's probably going to happen you can see where my toe compresses it but other than that especially in the heel you'd think the heel would just be ground down but i guess i don't drag my heel too much so that's good there's a little bit here you can see that so i mean at this rate i could see i could see this shoe lasting at least five years easy Everything else on it is in really good condition. If you go to their website or follow any of their kind of um, any other adventurers out there that are wearing these shoes and jogging in them and running in them, this part is it's amazing to see how much uh, their toes are are being pressed in and creating those like indents into the into the material. This is holding up really well. My favorite thing about this um, footbed, if your feet are wet and you've ever worn any other sandals, any uh, maybe not Chacos, but if you're wearing any other sandals and your feet get, and water gets between your foot and your sandal, it's slippery and you, you feel like you've got to walk funny until your feet dry off. That does not happen with these. Yes, if water gets between your foot and this material, there are a few seconds of, whoa, is this gonna, am I gonna slip here? But the straps, and the way that it's um, the the strength of the material and the design keeps your foot completely in place and keeps the sandal from sliding underneath your foot. And I believe that's what's actually you know that's the part that kind of scares us. It makes us kind of flinch a little. So I'm just noticing that there's a little you know I don't think that was ever that might have been glued together, and it looks like it's worn just just a bit and of course there could be mud and dirt getting in there it doesn't look like it's going to break or tear this material in here seems fine these have not budged that's usually the first part to break whatever's under here keeping it together and keeping it secure underneath your foot has feels great feels really secure hopefully that was enough with the close-ups they do have other models um, out now and it is the 
Karen Pro 2 Adventure Sandal. And what I was really excited about is that when I first did the review for these, there were two main things that I wanted to see in the new model. And they did both of them. And so uh, maybe, maybe Bedrock watched my video. Someone at there was like, you know what? That's a great idea. And, you know, let's incorporate it. Or, you know, maybe they had the idea and they saw my video and thought, you, you know what? The people are asking for it. So, guys, let's get, you know, let's get this worked out. What they did on the new version is they moved or they, I guess you could say they added. So they took the clip that's here and they replaced this Velcro on the back. And that was something that I definitely wanted to see. My Velcro is fine because I don't use it very often. I don't undo it and put it back on. I always use uh, this strap here to put my sandal on and then to tighten it down. And so I would, you would think this is worn, would, this material would be worn the most. It doesn't look like it's gonna rip or tear anytime soon. The other thing that I was excited about and realized um, from their product video was they moved this bedrock tag to the outside of the foot strap. And the reason I wanted to see that happen is because I got a lot of questions when I first bought this sandal. Uh, two years ago, they were not in my area. I, I didn't know anyone that owned a pair. And every time people would ask me about them, they'd say, what are those? Like, are those are those Vibram? What are they? And I'd have to say, no, they're Bedrock. I was really excited about just telling people about the these sandals and the, uh, Bedrock as a company by moving it to the outside of the foot, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but for now, this pair is great. They're gonna last me at this rate. If I don't go on any uh, go on any major trips or put any um, really big miles, you know, over rocks or through streams, um, if I don't do anything like that, I think. I can get to a five-year review with this pair. Okay, everybody, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this two-year review. I think, unless I get another pair for some reason, I'm gonna shoot for a five-year review, and um, I won't do another review on this on, on these sandals or Bedrock sandals unless they send me something, and then I'll do a review on it. But uh, until then, I'm really excited to make it to five years, and if something bad happens, I'll let you know, and I'll do a review on it. But I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Bedrock has an amazing warranty. And if you're like me, I'm really frugal. I like to invest in the, the products that I buy that, that I know that they need to last a long time. Um, that's how I ended up with these. And so, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. Please share. And please leave me a comment. Whatever, you know, if you've got a pair, if you've had them for over two years, I would love to hear about it. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. So take care and have fun with your very own pair. Talk to you later. Bye.